This problem walkthrough video will illustrate how to make optimal decisions using the maximax, maximin, opportunity loss, and expected value decision criteria. Here's the data for our problem. Southland Corporation's decision to produce a new line of recreational products has resulted in the need to choose one of two automated manufacturing systems based on proposals from two vendors, A and B. The economics of this decision depends on the market reaction to the new product. The possible long-run demand has been identified as low, medium, or high, and based on the detailed financial analysis of system costs as a function of volume and sales under each demand scenario, this payoff table gives the projected profits in millions of dollars. The table shows payoffs ranging from as low as $220 million to as high as $600 million. There are two requirements for this problem. First, requirement A is to determine the best decisions using Maximax, Maximin, and Opportunity Loss decision criteria. Second, or requirement B, is assuming that the best probability of low long-run demand is 0.3, medium long-run demand is 0.05, and high long-run demand is 0.65, what's the best decision using the expected value criterion? Now this problem is simple enough that we don't need to use Excel and can set up a basic table to help us. For requirement A, let's determine the maximized maximum, or maximax, and maximized minimum, or maximin, payoffs for each vendor. Beginning with the vendor A, we can see that the minimum payoff is 220 million if the long run demand happens to be low, and the maximum payoff is 600 million dollars if the long run demand happens to be high. For vendor B, we can see that the minimum payoff is $270 million if long run demand is low, and the maximum payoff is $300 million if the long run demand is high. Therefore, our recommendation would be to select vendor A if we want to maximize the maximum payoff and yield up to $600 million in profits. Alternatively, if management is more risk averse, then they should select vendor B to maximize the minimum payoff of $270 million. Next, let's determine what the recommendation would be if we want to minimize the opportunity loss, which is simply the maximum loss that could be realized by choosing each vendor in comparison to the optimal selection. This is also known as the minimax regret criterion. If the company chooses vendor A and demand is low, it will incur a loss of $50 million because if low demand was predictable, the payoff would have been $270 million. In essence, the firm regrets choosing vendor A instead of vendor B if the demand was low. If Southland selects vendor A and demand is medium, then no loss is incurred because the $300 million payoff is the same whether A or B is selected. If demand ends up being high and vendor A were selected, again, there is no loss because the company would choose vendor A if high demand were predictable. Thus, the maximum loss of choosing vendor A is $50 million. Now let's look at vendor B. If we select vendor B and demand is low, there's no loss. The payoff generated from selecting vendor B is the maximum payoff of $270 million. Southland won't regret selecting vendor B if demand is low. If Southland selects vendor B and demand is medium, there is no loss incurred because the $300 million payoff is the same whether A or B is selected. Finally, if demand is high and vendor B were selected, then the Southland would have regretted that decision because a $300 million payoff is less than the $600 million maximum payoff that would be earned if high demand were predictable and vendor A would have been chosen. Thus, the maximum loss of selecting vendor B is $300 million, and the recommendation to management then is to select vendor A if Southland wants to minimize or limit the opportunity loss. Now on to requirement B, which uses the expected value criterion. Here I've modified the table to include the probabilities associated with each long-run demand outcome. 0.30 if demand is low, 0.05 if demand is medium, and 0.65 if demand is high. The sum of the probabilities must, of course, equal 1.0 or 100%. To determine the expected value for each vendor, we simply multiply each demand payoff by the respective probability. So for vendor A, we would take 220 times 0.3, plus 300 times 0 0.05 plus 600 times 0 0.65 to yield an expected value of 471 million. Remember to make sure your order of operations is correct. For vendor B, we would take 270 times 0 0.3 
plus 300 times 0 0.05 plus 300 times 0 0.65 to come up with $291 million. Thus, we can conclude that the expected value of choosing vendor A is $471 million and the expected value of choosing vendor B is $291 million. And if Southland Management is looking to make a decision based on maximizing the expected value, then vendor A should be selected.